that time again. Test drive time in a 1966 four-speed 454 big block Chevelle. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Check out my website for availability. That's maplemotors.com. We buy about 40 classic cars every month. We sell about 40 every month. Constantly getting something new in and posting new videos every day. See what she'll do. Test drive time. Take a look around the interior. Door panel's in great shape. I'll go ahead and show you. It says 21,000 miles. I can't stand behind that. Uh, looks like our gas gauge is up on quarter tank. I believe that is working. We do have the face of the radio in the office. We'll take all of them out. Interior looks great in this car. Headliner's in good shape. Starts up nice and easy. I don't believe I trust the oil pressure gauge because it goes so slow. It is showing 40 right now. It may be correct. It just comes up real slow. Um, the temperature gauge, it has ran a little bit. I don't know if it's working or not. We'll know by the end of the test drive though. I, I'm assuming it does. Most all these gauges are working. Uh, battery gauges works on here as well. Couldn't get the horn to work. None of the horns work for some reason. I don't know. A lot of people ask that. Windshield wipers work on this one. Got to play the game, though. You could stop it wherever you want. See? <laughs> Let's take off, guys. <laughs> guys, I don't even get to take off. And I smacked the steering wheel because it was making like a tinging noise like that. And I was like, well, that might be why the, the horn don't work. Well, there's no spring in here or a hookup for the horn. And I knocked this completely off. I think I broke it. We'll have to get that fixed. We're going to go ahead and put that in the glove box. Nice little piece for the center of the steering wheel. But, you know, I got to break stuff some, sometimes. All right, we do got seat belts. Don't look like the factory seat belt at all. But it's a seat belt. Heat's definitely working. I'm cutting that off. It's getting hot in here. Might even open my vent window. Put a little bit of air in. She needs some grease. Creaking. Now, let's take off. It is my birthday today, so I'm going to go pick up my woman again. We're going to go uh, out to eat. And I say my woman, my wife. Clutch lets out a little bit about a little over halfway completely let now. Feels like I'm riding in a truck. The uh okay. gotta get used to that shifter, it's real close. We'll go back over that again, but I do feel like I'm bouncing. I wonder if this thing's got air shot. Gas gauge floating around. Speedometer does not work. It's like a smooth bounce. Car's pulling to the left, you see that? Let's try our brakes. Brakes are nice. They stop fast. Touchy. All right, let's try this again. used to the shifter it's not so bad i was scared i was going to go back into first first go around here when we took off taking consideration i've never driven this car before this video so i'm learning about it with you our clock does not work most of them don't they go out turn signals are popping up on the dash there Our cigarette lighter works. I don't 
think it does. Yeah, clutch lets out midway to top. Speedometer's coming up now. Not correct, but it's bouncing around. It, every time I shift, it's almost like it's more like the RPMs. Yeah, I told you I'd get better at driving this thing. Uh, good news is our temperature gauge is coming up. Now it's showing 170. Oil pressure still sitting at 40. easy to drive I'm wondering if the pull to the left is gonna stop by the end of the test drive sometimes once you get out and drive them the cars start acting right Let's go ahead and stick y'all in the driver's seat here maybe angle you up just a little well he ran the crap out of that there you go, just go on through. <laughs> this car feels good sitting here hitting a lick. And clutch kind of lets out a little high my likings but it's grabbing good it's not slipping at all a little bit of a vibration noise power steering works nicely I mean, you can steer this car with one finger if you had to. See where it's let now. road over here launch is pretty good not slipping at all on this I, I definitely want to see if it's got air shocks that's what it kind of feels like if it does I need to let a little out get some WD-40 on that clutch pedal
Phillips might have some over here at his house. We can get annoying. I'm gonna grab some of that WD-40 out of here, fix that up, and we'll continue this test drive. It did have air shocks in it, so I'll let some air out. I want to see how bumpy it is now. Look at that. Smoothed right out. Just had too much air in it. Get some bigger bumps here. That's what I'm talking about. It rides good now. Oh, just forgot my seatbelt. kicking these tires over. First gear's got the guts. Oh, I forgot the WD-40. I knew I was forgetting something. Might have to get that on that clutch pedal so it doesn't scream at me every time I push it down. Yeah, we're on a really bumpy road right now. Smoothed it right out, letting that air out. Had a feeling that's what it was. Suspension's nice now. Squeak, 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 squeak. Oh yeah. Is it just 
spade or we all wait on women? Sitting here about five, maybe ten minutes. Still looking at 170 on the tent. Well, 15 minutes later, temperature still at 170. Still kind of waiting around. Yeah, I just finally cut it off. I don't know what's taking her so long. No, I'm getting hungry. Well, I turned 29 today. I had to shave my beard off, kind of restart, maybe look a little younger. I'm only one year away from 30. Don't really feel any different. I was thinking about doing a lot walk when I get back, walk around the whole lot. Got to show you some of the new cars we got. I haven't done one this week. I think I will do that today. I was also thinking about getting some hats made. Some real nice hats, like the ones that are fitted. They don't have the straps on the back. It has maple motors on them. We got a logo, we got a big sign out front that's got three pretty cool muscle cars on it with blowers on them. Gotta put that on the front, just keep it simple. Maybe put the number on the back. Just thinking about maybe seeing if I can get somebody to do about a hundred of those. I might put them up on eBay and, uh, and link the uh, the page to it everybody's asked about t-shirts and stuff been wanting to do the t-shirts because i feel like on ebay they already do the taxes for you so i won't have to worry about that go ahead and get all that paid just kind of get our advertisements out there a lot of people are asking for gear so it's about time to get that rolling i assume if i could give away like some of the tags like the maple motors tags we got white and black ones or or maybe some of the maple motors stickers that go on the car some people don't like them others do they just come right off so if you buy the car and you don't want the sticker you could just take it off take a heat gun to it really just pick it right off it's not hard to get off at all oh my goodness here she comes about you. Oh, about me? Yep, all about <laughs> you. All right. Well, it looks like our temperature is at uh, 185 now. That's the highest it's ever been after I cut it off. We're going to Chili's. You hear that squeaky pedal? I've been talking about that too. Should have got some WD-40. Probably spit on it. <laughs> Ooh. It's the mouse under there. Keep squishing him. guys this is going to conclude my test drive i appreciate y'all watching like i said you can jump on my website see all of our current inventory i want you to make sure we still have this car we sell about 40 a month so definitely check for availability you can get financing options transportation options parts accessories wheels tires all that at maplemotors.com Please hit that subscribe button. I post videos like this every single day. Or you can give us a call, 615-822-4444. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.
give y'all a good view of the shifter here. That way you can see, try to give, give the guys in front of me some good space here. Kind of red light to red light right now. All right, we're going to give you a good view of the shifter here. Kind of let you see where the clutch is letting out. Everything's nice and smooth. Clutch starts pulling right there and lets out about right at the top, really. Goes right into gear, nice and easy. You hear a little bit of a vibration coming from right here. Fourth gear is nice and smooth. Might be right up against something in there rattling. Getting ready to take off again here. Got to show you one more time. Well, it's out right at the top there. I'll let these people take off. Starts pulling about halfway through on the clutch. Pulling up here in the lot. I'm gonna put it back on the front row. 